Police tell me that at around 10 o'clock Friday night, 25-year-old Kevin Farmer was traveling westward when he slid off the road and hit a guardrail like the one you see behind me several times. Farmer's motorcycle was found on the road by a passerby. One man says he was walking his dog when he... I heard the siren uh, headed west and it, it seemed like it just stopped and then a few minutes later there were like three more uh, vehicles headed uh, east and they all stopped and so I thought maybe there was a wreck. I didn't realize it was, you know, just right here in my front yard. Mays lives close to the accident and told me just how dangerous this road can be. People don't know the streets here. Highway 12 is a, a dangerous highway if you're not familiar with it. People just need to slow down and be careful. The speed limit on the highway is 35 to 40 miles per hour, but people tell me that rarely happens. I mean, usually they drive pretty fast. People think they need to go like really fast up Bull Hill when it's kind of dangerous, like because of the turns and everything. I guess I wasn't really shocked to hear there was an accident. I was more shocked that I haven't heard about it already. No, I spoke to farmers' family, but they were too torn up to talk about it. In Benton County, Megan Key. 40, 29 news. Sure, Megan, thank you. Well, Arkansas State Police say they're now investigating. Well, you wanted to know how many motorcycle wrecks there have been in that area. And with Bikes, Blues, and Barbecue coming up, Highway 12 is very popular for bikers. And the last accident was in July, and the driver was actually airlifted to the hospital. Police say they're trying to come up with the total number for us.